it's Bishop Abel here and this is Faith Nation TV. Uh, we are so excited today we are coming to you with a word from the Lord and not only with that we're going to worship the Lord and we're going to pray for deliverance today. I believe the Lord wants his people free from any bondage that the enemy might have put you in. So today we are going to have a fantastic time, a great time in the presence of the Lord. And it's going to be incredible. Praise God. And we're going to worship the Lord for a bit. And we are going to share God's word for the next five minutes. We will bless you and we will leave you in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus is our deliverer. He is our healer. He is the Messiah. He is the King of Kings and he is the Lord of Lords. He has all power to set anybody free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And even today, as we continue in the word of the Lord, I'm going to read for you I, uh, the book of Obadiah, the book of Obadiah chapter one, and I'm going to read verse number 17. It's only one chapter. Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 17. The Bible says, but on Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their position. Now understand this brothers and sisters, deliverance is in the word of God and God wants his people free. Jesus came to set the captives free. And my brothers and sisters, it doesn't matter the situation that you may find yourself in today. I come with a word from the Lord to let you know whatever binds you must set you free, must leave you to go free in Jesus' mighty name. So the word of God over here says, in Obadiah 1 17, but on Mount Zion, Mount Zion is a representation of the house of God. It means the house of the Lord. The Bible says that in the house of the Lord, there shall be deliverance. So deliverance is not for sinners. It's for those who know the Lord. In the house of the Lord, there shall be deliverance. When you come to the Lord, when you have known him as your personal savior, the next thing that you need is deliverance so that the Lord will set you free from any bondage that you might have gone through in the past. And who does that? Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. And he's ready today to set you free. 
in Jesus mighty name now the Bible says on Mount Zion in the house of the Lord there shall be deliverance being set free and also there shall be holiness after deliverance a person must live holy all right the life of holiness begins because you cannot be holy unless you're delivered there are some people that are bound by an addiction of some kind maybe they are bound by the spirit of lust or alcoholism or even drug um, uh, drug abuse and all such kind of alike now, I want to let you know if you're bound by all these kind of things, it is impossible for you to live a holy life. Why? Because the enemy, the devil, will always try to bring you out of the will of God because you're not under the control of God. You are under the control of the demonic principalities and powers. But I'm telling you, the moment you're set free, you're supposed to walk in the life of holiness. A lot of times we preach to the people, we tell them, you need to be delivered. You need to be delivered. Yes, when people are delivered, they also need to maintain deliverance. And the only way to maintain deliverance is to live a holy life. In other words, you're living a life that agrees with God's word. You are not doing anything that is against God's word. You're following the principles of God's word. And if you do so, my brothers and sisters, I want to let you know you are going to stay free. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says when the Son of God sets a man free, he is free indeed. And so the, the first step is deliverance. The second step is holiness. And then the third step, the Bible says, after deliverance and after holiness, then the house of Jacob, the house of the Lord, shall possess their possession. Do you realize on how many cannot possess their possessions because they are still bound? They are still living an unholy life? But I'm telling you, after deliverance and holiness, then you will possess your possession. What is that that you're believing God for? You're believing God for a miracle in your family, a miracle of finances, business, job, whatever it is. Listen to me. After you have cried to the Lord for this deliverance and he has set you free and holiness into your life, then you shall possess all the possessions that you believe in God for. Listen to the last scripture over here very quickly in the book. Come with me to the book of Luke. And we're going to look at the book of Luke chapter uh, number four and verse 18 and this is actually about Jesus and the temptations of Jesus the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord is upon me this is when Jesus went to be baptized by John the Baptist in Jordan River and after that he was led to the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights my brothers and sisters the Bible tells us for those 40 days and 40 nights Jesus ate nothing and he comes out of the presence of God with power, full of the anointing. The Bible says when he came out, he was full of the Spirit of God. And he came to uh, the city um, where, 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 where he was growing up. And the Bible says when he came on the Sabbath day in Nazareth, and that is from verse 16, he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And then the Bible says, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. So when he returned was the Sabbath day. And when he handed, was handed the book of prophet Isaiah, he began to read. And he opened the book of the scroll and he found the place where it was written. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor and he has sent me to heal the broken heart and to proclaim liberty liberty to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of the sight of sight to the blind and to set at liberty those who have been oppressed and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, listen, this was the mandate that Jesus Christ had on his life when he came out of prayer. When he came out of that prayer mountain full of the anointing, full of the Holy Spirit, he said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to preach the gospel. And he said, the gospel that I'm going to be preaching is a gospel that is going to heal the broken hearted, is the gospel that is going to proclaim liberty to the captives and is the pro is the gospel that is going to bring recovery of the sight 
to the blind and to set at liberty those who are oppressed. Listen, my brothers and sisters, that's the true gospel of Jesus Christ. He came to set at liberty those who have been oppressed. I don't know whatever is oppressing you today. I don't know the condition that if I find you today, but in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, myself and Abel Jr. here, we declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command every chains of oppression over your life. Be broken in the name of the Lord Jesus. Anything that is binding you, generational bloodline curse, be broken off your life in the name of the Lord Jesus. I announce you free from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I speak deliverance. I speak deliverance. Right now, let every devil of oppression, every demonic spirit, every spirit of anxiety, I rebuke it out of your life. You demonic spirit of anxiety, stress, and even uh, uh, worry and, and fear, panic, I command you by the power of the anointing, loose your grip and be broken over people's lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break any yokes that are binding you for generations right now of sickness, disease, anything that is binding you, my brothers and sisters, I command it to lose you. Be broken, be broken, be broken. Yokes, be broken. Be taken off your shoulders. Let the anointing of the Lord set you free right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree by the power of Jesus Christ who came to set the captives free. You are free and free indeed. Come on, somebody shout a big amen. Go ahead and glorify the Lord and declare, I am free and I am free indeed. And there is nothing that is going to bind me again for I'm a child of God. For the Bible says, when the Son of God sets you free, you are free indeed. So you are free. Go on and glorify the name of the Lord for the freedom. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and we believe. Brothers and sisters, God bless you. And go declaring, I am free. I am free. I am free in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.